Where are we going, baby? To see less with Wagyu beef. I never had Wagyu. Well, we're not just to see him. We're here to get some free beef. True, but... <laughs> I just seen a bunch of your videos and thought, man, it'd be good if they had one of the markets here. It's fabulous. I'm Erica, and this is David, and we are 30A Misfits. Two transplant locals who love to adventure. Come explore with us. We are at the Grand Boulevard Farmer's Market. This one in particular, maybe you close up. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Alan. And I'm Joyce. I love to follow y'all's page. The farmer's market has a cool vibe. We felt very much at home because we're all entrepreneurs. In our episode, What Makes 30A Special, our third reason was there's a spirit of entrepreneurship over the area. The farmer's market specializes in showcasing a passion for creativity. It's fun to get to be a part of that. Bacon tomato pie. What? Bacon tomato pie. Mm-hmm. One of the cool things we observed was that most of the people manning the booths had some involvement in the production and they were proud of their product. We do uh, four different kinds of pimento cheeses. Let me get it out of the cooler real quick. White cheddar jalapeno. We DC the jalapeno so you'll get the fresh crunch without the heat to it. All right. Smoked good in bacon. You really get on a hamburger. Spicy version of the classic is our ghost pepper. We, we specialize in Gulf Coast seafoods. The dips and the salsa that you would have from this area or this part of the coast. Uh, I'm a chef 38 years, worked in New York City for 30, and learned a lot of food chemistry from the French and the Italians up there, and came home and put it in this dip, it our biggest seller and our biggest award winner. This is my grandmother's recipe out of Mobile from the 50s. She was an excellent chef. My brother's recipe out of Houston. What restaurants did you work on 38? Excuse me? You said you worked at restaurants on 38? Yeah, I built Great Southern Cafe with Jim Shirley. Oh, yeah, we did it. Great Southern is a restaurant in Seaside and one of our favorites. Well, we're, yeah, we're both friends. We did that years ago and I was there a few years and decided I wanted to go back into catering, which is what I did in New York. Okay. I own Gotham Catering in New York City. I was a corporate caterer for the rich and spoiled up there. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. And what's your name? Bob Pride. We make videos for the rich and spoiled. Uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. 38 Misfits family recipe comes in an eight ounce uh, container, and you can make two delicious four ounce crab cakes with this. 80% crab meat, so they're wow. dense and wonderful. They're easy. You have a meal in minutes. So I call it honey med, but also med means honey in Russian, and I'm from Russia. Um, so what can I say about this product? It's quite delicious, but more importantly, it's great for our health. Turmeric, as you may know, is anti-inflammatory. Ginger is good for our digestion. Um, so all together, it's fabulous. I love honey. Boulevard Farmers Market. We are open Saturdays year-round at Grand Boulevard. We have a array of vendors out here today from fresh produce. As you can see, we also have Wagyu beef. We have everything that you can imagine. Come out and support local. We appreciate all your help. 
and thank you 38 Misfits for coming out and taking a look at our markets today. Breezy Pete gave us two biscuits. One was key lime and the other one was brown sugar or something, I think. I don't know because I didn't get to try it. It was gone before I could get a hold of it. So I didn't get this way by hoping and praying. <laughs> I've never had goat milk before. This is the first time and I was excited about it. And not only is it goat milk, it's raw goat milk. And I drank it, went all in. Well, first you tried it and then yeah. what'd you think? I'm not a fan. I had, I've had goat cheese before and there's a very specific taste with goat cheese milk stuff and it was there and I'm just not a fan of that flavor. And then they had us try raw cow milk to compare the two. And I love the raw cow milk. And I thought it was terrible. It tasted like, um, if you know what alfalfa is, or or you know something green, grassy, Grass. grassy. Even. I like that green you flavor. Could, it just, I'm okay with that. It just came through so strong, but it was a pretty neat experience. Yeah. But I don't think she's here. No. She's got a really bright. Abnormal. Well, hello, Les. It took me a second. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, this is beef that I raise. We have me and my dad. We have two farms in North Alabama, and this is prime grade Wagyu beef right here. This is ribeyes, and they are beautiful. And it's all prime grade Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef is a, a Japanese cow, um, and the, the Wagyu beef is the highest quality of beef in the world. It's got the highest percentage of marbling. Damn, damn, damn. It's the most tender, uh, most flavorful beef of anything in the world. Damn. And then the A5 is what I import from Japan, and it is the absolute top. It's, yeah. the, it's the top steak. There's nothing above it. So it's a, it's a fan favorite. It's, it's pretty crazy. Now in Japan, they're paid to actually massage each cow by hand, but we have an old rake that we just kind of scratch their back. Right. They seem to like that. Good enough, good enough. I have so many return customers because the product is good. When we walked up to each booth, we introduced ourselves by handing them one of our stickers. Hi. Local YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Uh, you teach your local businesses. If you want one and you're at the farmer's market, you can pick one up at the Blevins Wagyu Beef booth. We had so much fun exploring and listening to the stories. Les gave us some steaks, so we went home to Defuniac Springs Big ass <laughs> and fired up the grill. David seared each side and then took them off the direct heat and brought them to an internal temperature of 135 and took them off the grill to rest. Perfect. So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of it helps oh. the algorithm. So if any of you are regulars at any of the farmers markets, tell us what your favorite booth is and which farmers market it's at that we just have to see. Just let us know, because we're definitely gonna do some more farmer's markets. Yeah.